My name is Micah Starkey and I am marrying Katie Casson. My name is Katie, I'm marrying Micah and we are getting married at the wedding party. Um, we were actually set up on a blind date. My roommate set us up because she was like, this kid's moving, he's a lot of fun. You guys should just meet and have fun for like a month before he moves. And we got together and um, danced the night away and then from them spent every, every single day together after that. <laughs> It was very early on. I think, I mean, I think we said I love you within a month, within a few weeks. I'm falling in love with this kid. I have to tell him. He moved to Australia and I was like, I'm coming to Australia with you. And I'm pretty sure my mom tried to admit me because that's crazy. But I just knew that he was the person that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Aha, so you did follow me. <laughs> Proposed, showed it to her. She had initially said, no, like F you, this is not real because I had kind of toyed around with, with proposing before over the years. And I finally told her, no, this, this, is, this is legit. I think Micah and I have had such a unique relationship that we didn't just want a normal wedding. We both love festivals and we like to hang out with our friends. We, we mostly wanted it for our friends and family just to have a good time. And I think this is the best way to do it. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, you'd be like, wow, that was, that was crazy, that was weird. I've never experienced something like that. It was a festival, but they got married and there was love and laughter and, um, I think that's that's really important. I also couldn't picture Micah in like a traditional wedding that moms would want. I feel like he really wants a party and that's why I love him. That's the thing about Micah, he doesn't get embarrassed at all. This one time we were in Australia and we had gone down to Sydney and we're coming back or we were going to sit right outside the entry of the plane, that waiting area and he farted so loud, like everybody stopped and stared and this little kid just like pointed and started laughing. And he looked at me and he was so scared that I was gonna be embarrassed and I was dying laughing. And he was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, please don't be embarrassed. I was like, I, I'm, I, I'm not embarrassed, that's on you. Like, and that's hilarious. Yeah, and kind of turn any situation into a good, a good time or make her smile, try to at least. So I think she appreciates that. No. My favorite thing about Micah is his personality. He's super outgoing, he's really funny. He doesn't take anything too seriously, which I think really helps me because I take everything very seriously and I think I'm not as outgoing. So to be around someone that's just so full of life all the time is just really, it's really nice. His ability to just make people happy and kind of make everyone put their walls down is something that I really admire and I don't think I tell them enough that that's such an incredible quality to have. No matter how hard of a day they're having, if they're around Micah, they just, they just get happy because he's just a happy person. The most, the most challenging thing we've ever done together was um, definitely living in a van together. <laughs> we were living in a van down by the river, no money, and I found out that my parents were getting a divorce. Like she just got a random call one day and we didn't really have any access to internet after that, so we just got the call and that was that, and so that was really hard. My grandfather passed away while we were on the road. So it really kind of forced us to, for me to not get crazy emotional and for him to open up. I think that that was a huge turning point. Um, so we went through a lot in that van, but it also made us a much stronger couple. We learned a lot about each other, how we kind of cope with situations, and uh, I think it all worked out, but it was rough. It wasn't just, you know, a vacation to Australia for a year. We went through some, some stuff. <laughs> We're always goofing, but we know deep down that we love each other more than anything. Um, I couldn't do life without her, I know that. I like to tell her that she's not my best friend, but she really is my best friend. I tell him he's my best friend every day. I wake yeah. up and I say, hi, best friend. Yeah. I don't actually do that, but I should. <laughs>